we're off to Universal Studios. It's time to get that one back there a pass. He has his, I have mine. He's gonna hang out. I got nothing. He has nothing. Um, he's gonna hang out at City Walk for a little while because we're not gonna be in the parks very long because we're meeting a family. Y'all will find that out. Um, and then Tom and I will be having dinner with them and the kids, all four of the kids will go back into the park because they have two kids. Everybody remember where we parked. Remember guys, this is a moving walkway. It means keep on moving. And guess what? Those people up there in front of us are not moving. Skylin, are you excited to be back at Universal? I want some butter beer. She wants some butter beer, she says. We all had annual passes in 2012. Um, and Skyline's not been back since then, since the passes ended in 2013. All right, our first stop is Diagon Alley because Skyline has never seen it before. This opened a few days before our pass, um, a few days after our pass expired. Fish. Yeah. Somehow in March, which was the first time we were here, I missed that. And I also missed all these cool owls. They have so many more options than we were last here, like butter beer ice cream, and what is um, Otter's fizzy orange juice. We have started with a frozen butter beer and a regular cold butter beer and raindrops. Fun, fun. And just those two, it was 17.02. Yeah. It's raining. Oh. They're casting us. He has one of those um, wands that cast spells. Skyline's like, Skyline's like, where'd that come from? It actually works. Like, yeah. Is there like a sensor in the wall? Yeah. Whoa. So we walk past this. Oh, you see that? Oh, there's a trunk down there. So it's like something's in the trunk. So we're in this really, really cool, like totally themed, awesome gift store. I would love to have steps like that in my house. Except, well, I don't have a two-story house. found a goodies store. Oh, what's in here? What's in the case? A pumpkin pastry. What is going on over here? Oh, uh, they're going back, whatever it is. Okay, front row on the mummy is awesome. What do you think? It was fun. Yeah. I like it. 
What do you think front row compared to other? It was better. Yeah, it was definitely better. Oh, and you definitely get, your face gets more water in it on the front row. All the outdoor rides are closed because of the sky. Um, but we're heading out anyway. We just rode the mummy and went into Diagon Alley. But we've got to go back up to City Walk to meet friends. We're at Hard Rock waiting for a table and there's a car spinning above our heads. So there are eight of us at Hard Rock. I think I failed to mention that. Or maybe I did. I don't know. And we get to go upstairs. Cool. Check it out. All this memorabilia. This is so cool. Look, they're straggling down there. Well, I was served first. I got salmon, mashed potatoes, and green beans, and Karen got a vegetable fajita. A legendary burger. Went to Blake. Okay, macaroni and cheese with chicken on top. And Scotland got the same thing. Blake got some type of burger. Savannah and Tom do not have theirs yet. And um, Phil got a club sandwich. It took three servers to bring all of our food. So Tom just got an appetizer of spicy shrimp. Now that guy is having a good time. I hope. I hope it's not a seizure. I hope it's a good time and not a seizure. Okay guys, so the four of us, the adults, are now, we've moved to Marguerite, Margaritaville. We've already ate dinner in Hard Rock. The kids are at Universal enjoying their time and we are enjoying adult time. Okay. <laughs> so they have a whole wall of napkins that people have drawn, doodled, and written on. Karen's trying to embarrass her kids. It's working. <laughs> She's embarrassing the crap out of the rest of us as well. So the kids have now joined us because Universal Studios is closed. So lots of people, small table. OMG, look what Karen just ordered. Oh my gosh. Nobody eats this until I Instagram it. Okay, each of the four kids is going to come up with a question for us four adults. All right, what you got, Blake? Which one out of the four of you would be most successful in hiding overnight in Magic Kingdom? Oh, being able to get away. Ooh, that's a good one. So out of us four adults, who would be the best at hiding? and getting away with it at Magic Kingdom. Why not me? I'd have to pee. <laughs> I'd have to pee and I'd have to break the law. Uh, it would be trespassing and that's breaking the law. Me, I'd be like, I'd love that. I know where I'd know where I'd hide. You'd do it. Would you do it? No, Tom would be allowed to you and that. Say that again. Tom would be allowed to. You wouldn't let him. I wouldn't let him. What do you? What's your? What's your thought? You would know best what other people might be looking for and get away. Well, yeah, that's yeah. See, I, so, I, Phil I, thinks it's him. Karen says it's who? Karen says it's Phil. All right. What do you guys think? Comment below. If you could ask Walt Disney any question, what would it be? If you could, oh my God, I just had a jalapeno. All right, what was the question? I had a jalapeno um, trauma. Oh, well, oh, what would Walt ask? What would you ask Walt? What is the most talk loud? What is the most embarrassing thing your company has done since you passed away? All righty, Phil, what is your your question? What would ask Walt? 
Oh my god, I forgot my Did he think it would be as magical for millions of people as you could ever imagine? And... Whoop! Push the camera away. Is he proud yeah. of where everything is today and what he's created? And does he know? And my question would be where my question would be where should we build the next park? Yes! yes! Do I win? Do I win? I win. <laughs> All right, Lakeland, ask your question. If you could add anything to any of the parks, what would it be? If you can add anything to any of the parks, what would it be? Add anything to any of the parks, what would it be? All right, so I'm going to go first on this one. And I would say, fast passes for the bathroom. Expected reactions. Fast passes for the bathroom. No, not the bedroom. The bathroom. Okay. In all seriousness. Oh, thank you. In all seriousness, it would be a solution to the scooter. Bus stop situation. Um, how people can be waiting in a long line at the bus stops, and all of a sudden a scooter can come up, and they're the first one loaded after all these people have been waiting and won't be on the bus. So, a solution to that situation. All right, what is your answer now that you just put food in your mouth? <laughs> What would you add to the park? Any park? I would add an adults only area. The I don't think that's appropriate for a family <laughs> channel. No, that's just an adults only area. <laughs> you, do, you do realize you have two kids, right? <laughs> okay, either one of you have something. I would add Talk loud. a fast pass free portion of the day to every ride so that you would not, as a standby rider, have to wait. Okay, you have to speak up. Even Phil can't hear you. He's leaning in because he can't hear you. <laughs> Oh, he turned his fast pass three times. Okay. And talk fast because a copyright. I would add <laughs> a fast pass free portion of the day to every ride where you, as a standby rider, did not have to endure waiting for all the fast pass people to get in in front of you. Comet boom is ten times bigger so there's no cure. Right? Alright, there we go. Oh my gosh. Lakeland has another question. This one hasn't came up with her question yet, but this one has another one. So aggressive. What is it? Talk loud. <laughs> Talk loud because of the music. <laughs> You're really close. We'll talk really loud because of the music. Copyright. Fast and loud. Fast and furious. I don't know. You had a question. I <laughs> Thanks, Karen. That was scary. That was scary. <laughs> so then, like it. What's your question? Skyland, <laughs> very loudly asked question. Now, if you could change one of Disney rides, what would it be and why? Let me 
pretty tight though. <laughs> okay, what's your answer on Skyland's question? My answer is I think that they should change Peter Pan and make it so much more magical. And then that's the heart of what Disney is all about. That's my answer. Okay, Karen, one ride, what would you change? Mission Space. That's the name of one, yep. <laughs> well, you said, is it? <laughs> Tomorrowland Speedway. Fix the steering. And give those little suckers about three times the horsepower. Okay, so my answer is the Navi River is boring and it needs a drop or two. I can't really argue with my wife's answer. But along with the Navi River being a little bit boring, so was the answer. Mike one has another question. If you could choose the theme of the next Disney Resort. If you could choose the theme of the next Disney Resort. Okay, I have got this one without a doubt. I've been working on it on my in my mind for years. And it is a haunted mansion theme resort and everybody sleeps in coffins. <laughs> what do y'all think? I know. <laughs> Blake doesn't like it. <laughs> yeah. He's going to answer his own question. Uh, oh, okay. Tower of Terror. Just make it a resort. What has Area 51 got to do with Disney? Night. We're at City Walk. We're now leaving. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, Phil, did Karen tell you about. <laughs> That's what we did at Starbucks. <laughs> Karen just got in trouble because she didn't move on the move and walkway. You got to move to the side if you're not going to walk. That's the rule. What did you think of Green God since that was the first time you rode it? The one you'd never ridden before? Oh, I liked it. It didn't make you sick? The original Harry Potter one makes me more sick. Yeah. Mm. Like I had to close my eyes for that one. Yeah, and you got to like this room back in yeah. my eyes too. Mm. What are those? Are those even cars? What the heck is that? I've never seen that in my life. Don't touch it. It could have an alarm. Don't touch it. It only has like one tire in the back. Has anybody, I've never seen those in my life. Anybody else seen them? Comment below. Have you, have you, have you? Oh my gosh. Who decided to park so far down here? <gasps> Do y'all would watch Adventures of RJ? He sings in the parking lot. I'm gonna go on my, one of my rants again. Why? Seriously, why? Like, wh uh, who does this? Look at that, guys. We're going back into the right. bubble. Two forty-two, and we are back at the resort. Isn't it pretty? All right, guys, we're logging off for tonight, and we will see you tomorrow. So, I've just been informed that I might have said 242 instead of 1242.
been all around the world oh, Every city, every place There's a wind of change I've never ever felt this way Longing for you because